We have the Washington Commanders taking on the Philadelphia Eagles in Philadelphia. This is your week four 2023 prediction and preview video. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. Also hit the like button. This is going to be a very good division matchup. And let's start with the Philadelphia Eagles. Undefeated. In three games in a row, they have looked dominant. And I know a lot of people are saying they're not the old Philadelphia Eagles from a year ago. They're still jealous of things together. They have two brand new coordinators on the offensive end and on the defensive side as well. But they have looked good. The key to victory is to go out there and run the football. One thing the Philadelphia Eagles have been great at from last season to this season so far is running the football. And they have a star in DeAndre Swift. 175 rushing yards against the Minnesota Vikings. And he came out in week three. And he replicated that success again against Tampa Bay Buccaneers for 130 yards on 16 carries. Continue to run the football with him up front and control the line of scrimmage. That is how the Philadelphia Eagles come out and win games. And the reason why I'm saying go out there and run the football, it's not because Jalen Hurts is a bad passing quarterback. Jalen Hurts can also kill you in the run game. It opens up that play action, that RPO for this team. So go out there, run the football, and feed your playmakers in space. Guys like A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith put a lot of pressure on that front seven of the Washington Commanders and then stress out the back end, those guys in that secondary. Then you can test those guys out. But do what you did early in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers game. I like the game plan. A.J. Brown was frustrated against the Minnesota Vikings. They came out. And they say, hey, let's get you going early. And it paid off. Devontae Smith did not have the best day. But A.J. Brown had nine catches for 131 yards off of 14 targets. I won't say go out there and target him 14 times because you do want to spread the ball around. But go out there, get him going early, and then you can get Devontae Smith over top. This is a Washington Commanders defense that can deal with some things in the back end. And we saw what the Bills were able to do to him last week. They'll get frustrated. And then when they start to come off with the blitz, Jalen Hurst has enough time in the pocket and he can beat him over top with Devontae Smith if they are not patient enough. Also get Dallas Goddard going as well. He hasn't had that big game this season just yet, but he's a good for sure-handed tight end. Now let's talk about their defense. The Philadelphia Eagles defense has been very good. The Eagles defense has been very strong. James Bradbury came back from a concussion last week against Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and he looked solid. They still have him and Darius Slay, but it comes down to this pass rush. The commanders allowed nine sacks last week to the Buffalo Bills. There is no reason why the Philadelphia Eagles cannot go back there and cause a lot of disruption. Take the run game away, pressure Sam Howe, and make him beat you with his arm, and also make his life a living hell behind that pocket. Do not let him get outside the pocket. Contain him and push the pocket for guys like Jordan Davis, Fletcher Cox, Hassan Reddick, and Brandon Graham. And guys on the back end can take care of some things. Blankenship had a very good game last week at the safety position. He was making some big tackles, and he came away with an interception as well. Make Sam Howe be impatient and make them fall behind in this game. And then you can win with time and possession if you just come out and run the football. That is the key to victories for the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, let's talk about the Washington Commanders. Last week was a horrible game. For the first couple weeks of the season, things looked good. The Washington Commanders were heading in the right direction. But the offensive line has not protected Sam Howe that good. And we saw it get exposed last week. They only scored three points. And the Buffalo Bills scored 37 points. Sam Howell got sacked nine times and threw four interceptions. He was 19 to 29 the day for only 170 passing yards. Go out there and protect him up front, whether it's doing some chip block with a tight end, zone guarding, double teaming some guys. Go out there and block for Sam Howell and get the ball out quick. I think that the Washington Commanders should come out and do some screens early in the game to guys like the running back that they have in Robinson Jr. Go out there and get the ball to Robinson Jr. in the open field. Go get the ball to Terry McLaurin on some short routes. Open up the offense, but do it slowly. You don't want a situation to where Eric B. Enemy was doing last week. It was a lot of routes going down the field because they were trying to get back into the game. They were not being patient, and that's why the Buffalo Bills are able to pin their ears back and go for them. They hit, did have rushing success in this game with Brian Robinson Jr. He had 10 carries for 70 yards, but it was, it, it was insignificant yardage because they were already behind the eight ball in this game. Do not let the Philadelphia Eagles get a substantial lead in this game they're going to try to run the football but you also have to try to run the football as well to match that intensity and match that physicality that the Eagles have funny enough last season when these two teams faced each other not they're not the same exact teams but when they f first faced each other on Monday night the commanders came out with the dub and they beat that undefeated streak so that could happen in this game but Sam Howe has to play clean football and it starts up front 
with this offensive line of the Washington Commanders. Get your playmakers involved, and Curtis Samuel should have a big game as well. This defense is going to be zoned in on Jahan Dotson and Terry McLaurin, so he'll have to step up yet again for this team. He was a leading wide receiver last week, but they're definitely going to need him for this upcoming game. Defensively, you got to stop the run. You cannot get overpowered. You have to take the run away from this Eagles team. I'm just not just talking about the running backs. You have to take the run away from Jalen Hurts as well. Because when they can run the football, it's a lot of things that can go wrong. Then they can set up play action. And also, do not blitz and play certain man coverages. You can do some combo coverages. Because when you play man coverage against the Philadelphia Eagles, your back is turned. And Jalen Hurts is one of the best scrambling quarterbacks in the NFL. So do not have your back turned. Keep the playmakers in front of you and be on lookout for a guy like Jalen Hurst to go out and try to make some plays with his legs. The linebackers are key in this game to come in and fill in those boxes to meet the running back at the point of attacks and do not let DeAndre Swift get into open field into the secondary because if he can, he could break, break off some big runs. They'll continue to run the football, RPO. Next thing you know, you're beat over top with a guy like like Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown. So make sure you go in and make sure that they cannot go in and run the football down your throat over and over again. That's how the Philadelphia Eagles work off that RPO. The Washington Commanders can win this game, and it's going to be a close game. But I have the Philadelphia Eagles winning this game 28-17. to I think they have too much firepower right now, and I do not have 100% confidence in the Washington Commanders going out and protecting Sam Howell long enough for their offense to work. But let me know in the comment section below, who do you have winning this game, the Washington Commanders or the Philadelphia Eagles? If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, when each and every last guy stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace.